Hello guys and welcome to my Kerbal Space Program Career Mode Starter Guide. Today I'm going to show you a good way to quickly get started in Career Mode and unlock the parts needed for some more exciting missions to the moon and beyond. So for those of you who don't know, in Career Mode you start with only the most basic of parts and unlock more by spending science in the research and development section. So without further ado, let's get into the guide. Step 1, Command Pod. The first thing you'll want to do when starting a new career mode is go into the VAB and select the Command Pod that you have unlocked. And without making any other changes, hit the launch button. When you're taken to the launch pad, immediately hover over the image of your Kerbal and hit EVA. This will take him outside the command pod, and from here you can walk him off the pod, right click on him and select both the take sample and the EVA report buttons. And there will be a science reward for completing both of these on the launch pad. And when you're given the prompt, hit keep data. And you should do this for all the cases throughout the tutorial, so I won't keep reminding you. Now once this is done, get back into the pod to store the data and hit EVA again. And this time, run your Kerbal down the launch pad onto the grass and complete the same two actions. And this will register as the Kerbal Space Center instead of the launch pad, so it will give a separate science reward for each of these fins. Now once this is done, again return to the command pod, and the final thing is to right click on the pod itself and complete a crew report. Once this is done, select recover vehicle at the top of the screen and that will cash in all your science. Step 2, the first upgrades. You now have a total of 24 science at your disposal. Click on the research and development building to bring up the tech tree, and research basic rocketry. This will also unlock three new techs for researching, and you'll want to spend your remaining science on the stability tech. Step 3. Building a rocket. Head back to the VAB to find the new parts in stock. We'll need to get a rocket into orbit and then back to land for the next part of this guide. To begin with, we place an FLT-400 fuel tank and an LVT-30 liquid fuel engine underneath our command pod. Next, we add a stacked coupler with four more fuel tanks and engine underneath that. On the side of the second lowest fuel tank, we use symmetry mode to place three radial decouplers on which we placed a fuel tank, followed by a fuel tank above and below that and an engine on the bottom. We then add another three radial decouplers at the bottom of the second lowest fuel tank and add an RT-10 solid fuel booster to each. To finish the build we add a nose cone to the top of the six side tanks, some mystery goo to the top fuel tank and a parachute to the command pod. Step 4 Staging In the staging on the right hand side, we make sure that the parachute activates last, with the stack decoupler coming just before that. We make sure that the three radial decouplers for the solid fuel engines are placed in the stage before the three for the fuel tanks. We want all six outer engines to activate on the first stage, and the centre engine to activate once the last set of decouplers has been activated. One mistake in this video is that I forgot to move the top engine up to activate with the stack decoupler, but it ends up not making too much of a difference in the mission. Your end product should look something like this. Step 5. Get into orbit. With the rocket done, hit launch. Immediately right click and observe the mystery goo for the experiment observation from launch pad. After this we take off and try to stay as vertical as possible. We take another look at the goo for the experiment while flying at Kerbin. Drop the empty solid fuel rockets as soon as they run out and continue to fly straight up.
when the atmosphere gauge at the top of the screen is just below halfway, start to tilt the rocket to 45 degrees. The outer rockets will run out soon, so drop those and activate the center rocket to continue the climb. At this point, check the map view with the M key, and once your apoapsis is over 70,000 meters, stop the engine. You can then time warp up, returning to normal just before the peak. Checking again on the Mystery Goo will get you the From Kerbin's Upper Atmosphere experiment. Point your ship flat in the direction of motion that's marked by the yellow circle without a cross through it, and start the engines back up. Again, check the map view and watch as your trajectory expands out, and once it forms a decent orbit, you can cut the engine. Step 6. Lots of science. We already have three experiments completed, and observing the goo now will get our fourth, which is called While in Space Near Kerbin. If we then EVA our Kerbal and conduct a report, we will get the experiment EVA report from space just above dot dot dot. This is dependent on what type of land you are orbiting above at the time. There is a se selection, some of which include oceans, grasslands, highlands, mountains, deserts, etc, etc. You want to follow your orbit path around, conducting EVA reports at as many of these different places as you encounter. Each will award an independent science bonus. It's also worth doing a crew report while in orbit by right clicking on the command pod, but I forgot to do that until later on this video. Step 7. Landing safely. Once you're satisfied, you've got as many of these experiments as you're going to, you'll want to point the rocket retrograde, that's the yellow circle with the cross through it, and start up the engine. This will bring us out of orbit and on a crash course. Decouple to the smallest stage of the rocket if you haven't already. In my case, since I forgot to fix the stage in, I'm already out of fuel. If you have fuel left, you can use it to slow your descent, but it shouldn't matter if you don't. When the atmosphere gauge is between the first and second of the notches, activate the parachute. At 500 meters, it will open fully, and you'll drift safely down. I forgot to do a crew report earlier, so I do one now. Then hit recover vessel at the top to cash in the science. Step 8. Enjoy! With the signs from this trip, you'll easily be able to unlock the other two techs in that stage. You now have enough parts unlocked to do more creative missions, reach the moon, and you could even repeat the mission for extra science, albeit at a reduced level, for repeating experiments. I hope this guide has helped you learn how to start off in KSP career mode and quickly progress into the more exciting elements of the game. If it has, a like would be greatly appreciated, it really helps out the video, and if not, leave a comment with what trouble you are having, and I'll do my best to get back to you and help out with whatever it is. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.